What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new FIFA 16 player review and today we're going to be looking at the Silver England and Bournemouth striker Callum Wilson. I'm, now this is the first Silver that I've ever done on FIFA 16 but I think this may as well be the first Silver that I've ever done a review and I don't think I ever did one on FIFA 15 but if you do enjoy the video it would be awesome if you'd leave a thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're new around here and also comment down below again if, you use, if you've used uh, Callum Wilson let me know what you think of him. So his price bands are between 3k and 57k on both PlayStation and Xbox again a pretty wide price band. Uh, he's going on Xbox at least I know for around the midpoint of that really mid 20s. He stands at 5 foot 10, 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves and he's got high medium work rate. So all that is pretty good standard striker stuff. Getting into his in-game stats though and his base card stat he's got 91 pace which is exceptional, 74 dribbling, 73 shooting, 76 physical and 60 passing with 29 defending so it's a really well rounded card for a striker. He's got 93 acceleration, 90 sprint speed which is fantastic, 79 strength, 79 balance and 79 finishing. He's also blessed with the dribbler, speed dribbler and he tries to beat the defensive line traits and specialities and um, like I say it's a really well rounded card there. He's got good speed, good strength, good finishing. Getting into the team that I used him in, you can see it's a pretty nice BPL team. I've still got that in from Piat in there. We've got Zahar, James Milner at centre mid by the way who's been absolutely awesome but Callum Wilson in ten uh, sorry in five games for me got ten goals so two goals a game average and one assist as well which is pretty nice and getting into the goals well rounded like I say he's definitely the term that I would use for him he seems to have enough strength to hold off defenders he's got really good finishing and he's one of those players like Neymar and I think the key is the acceleration that he's able to pull away from people and stay away from them using that big right stick touch but I was really surprised not just how good his finishing was but how fantastic his heading was how physical he was as a player as well I expected him to be quick but I didn't expect him to be able to hold off defenders as well as he did. Downsides to his card, he hasn't got 4 star skill moves which is always a bit of a downside in my opinion. Even though he gets on fine without them, it's still, like I say, having those 4 star skills is a fantastic thing with a, with a card and when you haven't got them, it's always got to be seen as a negative. His passing is the thing, it's a little bit inconsistent, sometimes his passing can be a bit like, it, it doesn't quite reach the man. But in the formation I was playing in, playing him in with the 4-3-3, it wasn't too much of a problem whatsoever. You can see him linking up well with the team out here. Gets it back. Weak foot is 3-star, but I feel it's so much better than 3-star in the game. It feels absolutely superb. Scored many goals with his left foot, many goals with his right foot, and a couple with his head as well. And like I say, it just feels like a fantastic, fantastic card. Overall, we are going to be giving Callum Wilson an 8.5 out of 10. He's actually one of the better, if not the best, Premier League striker that I've used so far on FIFA 16. Admittedly, I've not used all of them. I've not used Remy, who's meant to be really, really good as well. But he was still an exceptional, exceptional player. And he's someone that I think could even rival Gabi Agbonlahor as being the best silver striker on the, in the Premier League this year. You can see him winning a penalty for us there. And that's another example. Just managed to hold off the defender, win the penalty. And he puts away the penalty himself pretty nicely as well. But um, yeah, we're giving him an output five overall. His speed, his strength and his one-on-one -on -one finishing is absolutely on point. I mean, this is probably my favourite goal of the lot. Look at this. Gets played through. Takes it first time. Beautiful finish. And that just sums him up really like I say. Absolutely fantastic striker. Highly recommend to give him a go. And we're going to give him an output of 5 overall, like I've already said. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. Leave a, like, leave a like, sorry, on the video if you did. And I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video, lads. Nidge out. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to episode number 4 of our FIFA 16 Crystal Palace career mode. And today, we're going to continue our quest in the Premier League. We've played the first two games.